Welcome to the Studio 8 Live, but not really, behind the scenes special. Studio 8 Live, but not really. I'm standing here in my multi-purpose room, currently set up for a recording studio for video recording, I should say, because we also have an audio recording set up here. But this is really my bedroom, and it's not that big of a room. And so as you're going to see, there's a lot of moving stuff around to make all this work with the recording studio. The video with my green screen back here, which is actually a cheap piece of green fabric, and with my actual bedroom where I have to sleep and have all my stuff. It's actually very crowded in here. We're going to get a look around, give you a look around at how things work around here. The noise you're hearing is the air filter running. This is basically what things look like when it's not in use. Right now we are looking at the chair that's using Cargo Ship Delta 5. Behind it is the set with the joystick on it. Very there, there, you might be able to see the joystick there. It's dark because the lights are right here and they're not on. I wanted everything in the way it would be when it's not being in use. So that's why it seems a bit dark. Those are the lights I use. And of course there's the green screen on the back wall there. Come around, there's my guitar. You can see a microphone box there behind my computer, next to my computer. And on top of the computer, those are my wireless headphones. This side is the recording studio area. There's my recording equipment that plugs into the computer. Microphones are here, music stand. You can see the keyboard under the computer there. And now we are set up for filming. And we're looking at the green screen right now. So we zoom out here, we'll see everything that was in this area is now out of that area. I've got actually a substantially large area of green screen, just not uh, very good lighting for it. The uh, thing you see in the corner there is from the cargo ship Delta 5 set. I'm uh, leaving that there a lot of times when I film because I don't need the whole green screen. We've got some regular lights here. We've got the utility lights here. They aren't really film lights, they're utility lights, but that's what I have. That's what we work with. If I had better lighting, my green screen would probably work better. And all the stuff that was here is piled on the bed. Look, there's Cargo Ship Delta V and one of its pirate ships. And out in the hallway here, there's the chair with all the props from Cargo Ship Delta V, which I rolled down the hallway to make more room. Over in the corner here by all this stuff in between the dresser is the camera stand, where the camera will stand will be when I'm filming here on the green screen. See, it's kind of squished in there. We make the best we can with the space we have. All right, you may not be able to see that great where I'm just regular lighting as I'm going to change the room around from video filming to doing a recording, audio recording. Right, now we are set up for the recording part. This is now set up for recording studio, so you see the keyboard's out there. The microphone, this is set up for vocal, one mic, and the music stands there. You can see all my messy desk in the background. Just don't have enough space to put everything. So that's set up that way. I had to move a couple things to be able to do that. So now I'm going to be recording some voices. This is for episode four. We have a new theme song. And here's Vanessa, kind of almost like a little child. We have a new theme song. What, what, what if they stop watching? What if I stutter, stutter, stutter? So she gets pitch shift up about two half steps, making her voice higher than what I actually produce here. Lego Bot will have a little distortion put in to make it sound even more mechanical. And here's Circle. I have to be careful with Circle and Vanessa. They're kind of close. And I do pitch shift Circle, but only one half step. And this is Circle. We have a new theme song. And now I'm going to do Square, which is more professor-like. Hi, hi, I'm Square. We have a new theme song? No, that's that. Currently, I'm working on the quarter note song, which will be sung by Circle and Square. And what you see here are the lyrics with a bunch of numbers above them, and those are frame readings. The first number is seconds, and the second number is frames. So at the very beginning, we're starting at one second and six frames, and going to one second and 11 frames. That tells me that Circle's mouth will need to be open between those frames. That helps me determine how to program Circle and Square so that their mouths will move with the words. On the computer here, what I'm doing is I just have an audio line down here. There's no video track at the moment. This audio is the quarter note song. If I hit play here, we'll hear the quarter note song. In order to set these frame markings for the speech, I gotta determine when a word starts and when it ends. And for that, we do what's called scrubbing. Scrubbing is like this. We drag the cursor and we can hear the sounds. And right there, I can hear the beginning of quarter. All right, now it's time to program circle and square using those numbers that we wrote down. So in animator software, we already have set up Circle and Square's music room. We have set up the eye blinking, all prepared from last time. So all we have to do now is animate the characters and program how the camera is going to follow them. So to make Circle's mouth open, we use a morph. The morph is pre-programmed. A morph is a change in the object, basically. And all I have to do is enter a number to tell the morph, tell the computer when to do the morph. So I'm going to move down. There's a timeline down here. If I double click on that, a window will open up here. And I'm going to click Add Key. Kind of hard to do while I'm holding the camera. And value, I'm going to change to 1. 
And I'll click OK, and if we go over down here, we'll see. Now the mouth is open, and we have to do that for every opening and closing throughout the entire song. It'll take some time. I'm not going to make you watch it all. And then the last step is to put it all together in the movie software and add the titles and put all the sound in, and that takes a long time. But then it's done.